Samsung has officially announced its next-generation smartphone processor. Just days after Qualcomm revealed the super-powered quad-core Snapdragon 820, Xiaomi has unveiled the octa-core Exynos 8890, which could make it to next year's Galaxy S7 in select markets, like the S820. The Exynos 8 Octa is an integrated one-chip solution boasting 64-bit architecture and CAT. 12 LTE support, and is also built on the 14 nanometer thin bay process. Samsung promises this means you'll get up to 30% increase in performance over the Exynos 7 Octa, and 10% better power efficiency. To build it, Samsung has combined four custom cores with four ARM Cortex A53 cores in a way that allows for enhanced heterogeneous multiprocessing for efficient usage of the eight cores. In English, that means the chip can handle all kinds of tasks, and spreads the workload efficiently over all eight cores of the processor. As for graphics processing, that is provided by the ARM Mali V880 GPU. Category 12 LTE support means the chip can handle up to 600 MBPs LTE downloads and 150 MBPs uploads with carrier aggregation. Essentially, making it future-proof for upcoming changes to LTE networking technology. For manufacturers, the key benefit apart from the insane promised performance is that everything is built into one, small part. That means OEMs can be more flexible in their logic board and smartphone designs. The Exynos 8 Octa is a leading-edge application processor for next-generation mobile devices that incorporates Samsung's mobile technology leadership in CPU, ISP, and modem as well as process technology, said Dr. Kushir Hung, Vice President of System LSI Marketing, Samsung Electronics. With our custom-designed CPU course and the industry's most advanced LTE modem, Consumers using mobile devices with the Exynos 8 Octa will experience a new level of mobile computing. Samsung's Exynos 8 Octa chip will go into mass production towards the end of this year, and will likely feature in next year's flagship smartphones and tablets. Devices like the upcoming Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge will, more than likely, ship with this chip in markets outside China and the U.S.